Hey indie lovers and homies, Mega Yoyo here. Ignore the voice, I am a little sick and currently drinking some tea to feel a little bit better. Welcome back to another review. Now if you have good taste, then you probably remember the collectathon games of years past. Such bangers include Super Mario 64, Banjo Kazooie, and Gex, Enter the Gecko. I said what I said. If you're looking for a quick and cheap fix, then I got a solution for you. Take a look at Super Kiwi 64, developed by Siactro. The mastermind behind Tori 3D, Super Kiwi 64 has that signature low poly look from the early 3D gaming times. Before we go any further, we have to talk super quick about the prequel, Beanie. Beanie is a vertical 2D platform featuring a round B, big rotund chungus, in an early 90s pre-rendered environment. Roll and hop up the precious trees to receive honey to help Kiwi to build a raft. Beanie is extremely short. I got 100% in 20 minutes, but look, I unlocked Tori. Excellent, and he's got a double jump. But after Beanie gets all the honey Kiwi needs, Kiwi goes on an adventure to find the floating island. As soon as Kiwi finds the island, a violent storm tears apart his raft. Kiwi wakes up in a mysterious land and is now accompanied by a dog. This dog has a plan that can get them both off the island, but he needs power stones to operate, thus sending Kiwi on his grand journey. Kiwi will traverse 8 levels with each one having 6 power stones to collect. Worlds are separated into 2 levels. We got different themes here. We got jungle, we got desert, pirate, and overwhelming dread. Kiwi has a backpack that increases his speed. This backpack can also be used to glide by holding down the jump button mid-air. Kiwi's most impressive technique though is his corkscrew attack. If Kiwi hits a wall, then he'll stick to it. This can be used to scale any vertical surface in the game. Nothing is off limits here, baby. Combat is almost non-existent, so don't use this corkscrew attack. Well, at least don't depend on it to just be mowing down enemies. There are a total of four enemies in the game, and they pose very little threat. The game itself is not difficult, and it's kind of a C-Actro thing. He's not all about challenge, and I respect that. Uh, there is no real punishment for failing here at all. All levels are self-contained and pretty small. In actuality, Super Kiwi 64 is an extremely small game. I 100 percented it in less than an hour. This game is incredibly cheap, only costing 3 US dollars. This game is meant for those who yearn for collectathons with a Nintendo 64 visual. I enjoyed my short but fun adventure and even found all the hidden glyphs to access a secret area and get all the cheat codes. There's even an FPS cheat if you want to get sick and get nausea. But the real cherry on top for me is the music. Composed by Kent Kircher, it goes hard right off the bat. The jungle theme, my lord. I don't know if I have an affinity for pan flutes, but just take a listen. The desert and the pirate world themes are great too, but they don't really compare. They're great in their own right. The other world though, that self existential dread level, I don't know what's going on with Sicatro, but this world is a mess. There's this reoccurring spooky theme in Beano, oh sorry, Beanie, and this game, and I'm not sure what's going on, but I think that there is something sinister going on in this cutesy game. Hopefully we'll find out more about it in his next installment in the series. Anyways, whatever, I don't want to end on a depressing note. Game's hella cute, super fun, and it's got some bumping beats. You can pick up Super Kiwi 64 on Steam and Nintendo Switch for only 3 US dollars and you can pick up Beanie for only 99 cents. Budget games are going to be eating good this year. Also, if you're hungering for more 3D platformers, check out the slapping game called Lunistis. You will not be disappointed. It even has Tori as an unlockable character. Yo guys, thanks for viewing until the end homie. If you found this review helpful, consider dropping a like and subscribing for more indie goodness. Thank you again, thank you for your continued support, and have a super day. Bye bye now.